Hey, two mockers are far back with the first of the three new locomotive reviews that I said I was going to do in the very end of my last little update. But anyway, as you can see, this is the Bachman Standard Line Alco S4 DCC sound value on board, number 1474 for the road number. Now, I've had, again, I've had this locomotive since about November, and I got it off of Trainworld Online for with shipping to where I live, about $123, $124 for the locomotive. Now, sound fee, now again, it's the sound value on board, so it's got DCC sound. Now, the sound board, another, it's not a PC board, it's, and a sound decoder, it's a, PC board that's got the sound decoder built in, designed specifically for Bachman, for in these locomotives with mobile soundtracks. And because it's the sound value on board, not the Spectrum Line DCC on board, well DCC sound on board, it's got the slimmed down range of sounds, which does at least include the bell, the head, well the, the headlight on off, headlight dim, bell, Long whistle, well, long horn, short horn. Now, well, as well as the prime mover sounds, which is the Alco, which, as prototypical for this particular locomotive, is the Alco 244 turbocharger. Well, not the Alco 244. That was the uh, Alco FA2, but uh, the Alco 0539, I think it is, turbocharged prime mover which was used in the S4 and the S2. The, by the way, they look, they look essentially identical. The way you can tell an S1, S3 from an S2, S4 is the design of the stack. The S1 and S3 have a round stack all the way up, whereas the S2 and S4 have a kind of rectangular or square base to the smokes, well, to the exhaust stack. Now, as you can see, all the handrails are there. They they do have a bit of play, so I would be careful when handling those, but they're there. They're painted up realistic. You know, it's, a, it's what the British would call a Bobo, which is two four-wheel trucks. Since it's a switching engine, it doesn't really need very large fuel tanks. So... Plus, for the length of the locomotive in real life, it kind of had to have short fuel tanks to fit between the trucks without making it a four-wheel switcher diesel. But anyway, why I picked the 14, well, the uh, 1474 when Bachman was releasing the new road number in DCC sound on board, well, sound value on board. Well, I think it was the 1469. Why I picked the 1474 was because this engine is still around and it still runs. And I figured I already have the 4449, which is still around, but it currently does not run because it's undergoing its 15-year boiler inspection and overhaul, similar to, well, identical to what the 261 just came out of back in March, April, well, late Arch, well, late March, not Arch, and early April. Now, again, the 4449 just entered its its uh, cycle of boiler overhaul and inspection, but, you know, again, it'll be back up and running hopefully soon, but it's still around. And I figured since I had a model of the 4449, which is still around, figured... Since I was getting the Alco S4 DCC sound with sound, well DCC sound value on board, may as well get the 1474, since that one is the sole Southern Pacific one still around. Now the whole bottom of this locomotive, this bit of detailing right here, this whole bottom of the locomotive, the whole chassis is made of metal, thus giving the locomotive a good amount of weight. Now my camera would pick up on it. If I had a magnifying glass I would show you, but I don't. 
So I can't necessarily clearly show you that, but the little plates back here on the sides of the cab, the lettering on those is legible under magnification. And the number boards are on the side of the front of the long hood. You also have the locomotive number clearly on there, right below the headlight. And as per the prototype, it's just a single solid lens headlight, not like the other headlight variation, which is the dual small lens one, where they basically just take the solid single lens and paint over it, except for two small circles, similar to the top headlight of the 4449 on the front of that one. Now, same detailing down this side, except for one difference. Back here, at the tail end of the handrails leading up to the cab, on the other side, there is the, the handrail actually curves and goes up to the side of the cab. The handrail on this side just goes straight back to the uh, front wall of the cab. Now again, white painted handrails alongside the steps into the well, up to the locomotive running boards, just like on the front and the other side. Now on the back here, you've got 1474 on the left side of the headlight and SP oh, with the little period marks which is the which is an older style Southern Pacific lettering for just the initials like what they used on the cabooses on the right side of the headlamp. And then little plates right there. Let me see if I can see if they uh, they say watch your step. Can't believe I forgot they say that and it's got those on the forward steps as well. Now again, this is the DCC sound value on board, so I didn't really have to fit a sound decoder to it or a regular decoder, because it's already got that built in. Got the single air horn right back here. No cab detailing, but it's a standard line locomotive, you know. They're not, the standard line engines aren't really known for the cab detailing except for on the 280s, but Mills were originally a Spectrum line engine and they just carried the tooling down over to the standard line. That's basically all they did besides change the packaging for the 280. But back on topic. Now, I will do a running video of this locomotive and the other locomotives later, but this video is coming to an end and since my family moved I had to take down the other layout so to run trains I gotta set up a loop of track on the floor so again running video will come later and when I run this engine I will take and run it with my Athern ready to roll Southern Pacific baggage car and my Cato business car or just a small train of freight cars just to demonstrate the sounds I may even decide to run it with the Santa Fe 3784 because since I got that I have fitted it with a Soundtracks mobile decoder just to kind of test the waters with the motor decoders well the regular DCC decoders from Soundtracks since I have now uh, well, a couple engines with a Soundtracks DCC sound decoder but anyway just like last, well, the last video, this one is getting to the end because I'm on my DS and it only allows me to film videos in 10 minute spurts. So, well, this is Mach Racer 4 once again signing off. And I will be right back with the 280 review as soon as I can, followed by the 3784. Mach Racer 4, see you next.